The ADI SIM op amp design tool helps with the selection, evaluation, and troubleshooting of voltage feedback op amps. It uses typical data to model the behavior of a selected amplifier. The tool allows a user to select an amplifier, configure a circuit, apply a signal, and evaluate the performance. It is useful for checking an amplifier specs such as bandwidth, slew rate, input-output range, gain error, load current, stability issues, and DC errors in a given circuit. The ADI SIM op amp design tool uses National Instruments LabVIEW as the engine in conjunction with a database that contains typical amplifier parametric data. The engine uses this data to set boundaries and mathematically approximate the response of the selected amplifier. The user can select an amplifier, configure a circuit, define an input signal, and evaluate its performance. Additional functions allow the user to let the tool find and suggest amplifiers for evaluation in the selected circuit. There are four ways to select an amplifier. Enter a part number, perform a parametric search, use the selection wizard, or you can use the tool's suggest amplifier feature. I'm going to perform a parametric search and will click the parametric search link. After clicking the link, select the amplifiers that you would like to evaluate. Click the boxes in the first column, then click the Add to Tool button. The ADI op amp design tool shows the three selected amplifiers in the pull-down. The first amplifier to evaluate is the AD746. Select the circuit that will be used to evaluate the device. There are three selection modes, inverting, non-inverting, and difference. I selected the radio button for the inverting mode. Note that a schematic of the selected circuit is shown at the right. The next step is to configure the circuit. The entry blocks allow a user to enter the desired values. I'm looking for a circuit gain of minus 2, so I set the RFB, or the feedback resistor, to 2 kilo ohms. Also, I set the power supplies to plus and minus 5 volts with a load resistance of 500 ohms. This section is used to define and display the input signal and this section is used to display the amplifier response. The graph is used to plot the calculated response of the selected amplifier. The log box is used to display detected errors. There are three levels of enunciated errors, alert, caution, and note. Alerts are the most serious and are used to signal conditions under which the amplifier should never be operated, for example, over voltage. The next error level is caution. Cautions are used to signal lower level errors such as signal clipping or slew rate limiting. And finally, notes are used to indicate low level advisories. The user also has the option of including or excluding various errors in the output response, allowing the user to separately view the effects of DC and AC errors on the waveform. This section contains links to the product page, datasheet, and SPICE model. Limited SPICE simulation is achieved with National Instruments Multisim tool. To start the evaluation, click the Run Model button. The tool issued an alert, the highest level, because the AD746 may be unable to drive the required full-scale voltage into the specified 500 ohm load. At this point, we could try lowering the load or reducing the voltage to get it to pass. But that may not be an option. So let's try another amp, the AD823. Here the tool issued a caution because the amplifier output slew rate of the part has been exceeded. This kind of in-depth analysis may not be possible to detect with SPICE. Let's try the next amplifier, the AD8620. The tool issued another caution because the part's output signal was clipped. The caution states that the output voltage range exceeded the capabilities of the part. At this point, we could go back to the parametric search table and choose additional parts, or we could use the suggest amplifier feature and let the tool do the work for us. Parametric data derived from the previous evaluation circuit is now being used to search for and to run evaluations on hundreds of amplifiers. This usually takes a few seconds to complete. The results of the suggest amplifier function are displayed. It found four amplifiers that should work in the application. 
Click the Add Selected Parts button. Of the four amplifiers, I selected the AD8039 and pressed the Run Model button. And it works. At this point, the SPICE model for the devices should be downloaded and run, and then samples ordered for hardware testing. In summary, the ADI SIM op amp is a tool that will help you quickly find, select, compare, and evaluate the best amplifier for your application. It uses parametric amplifier data to calculate and display the basic response of a selected amplifier. The ADI SIM op amp design tool is not a replacement for SPICE modeling, nor is it a replacement for hardware testing. Thank you for watching this brief overview. For more detailed information, click on the instructions link above or the Submit Feedback link.